Yeah, I'm good. Yep. Hands down. You know, there was one scorecard, I think, lots of people found pretty puzzling. You saw the reaction on your face and everything you read out. Just what, what was going through your mind at that point? Yeah, it pissed me off. It, it, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. It took a little bit away from my win, I feel like. I don't, uh, no disrespect to him or anything, but I don't think that was a split decision. I feel like I won all three rounds. Um, I feel like you guys agree, too. If anything, two to one, maybe, but it uh, shouldn't have been 30-27 for him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what, how did the fight go compared to you know, the expectations, the execution of your game plan? It, it, the game plan went perfectly. I wanted to use my jab, stay patient, not get overzealous. And like in my last fight, I got put on my butt because I got a little bit of uh, overzealous. Uh, went for a big shot and got caught. Um, yeah, I want to stick, stick to my jab and show that, show different facets of my game. Show that I'm not just a brawler that just comes forward and uses my hands. I want to use my hands, use my jab, use my length, use my kicks, which I haven't really showed at all in any of my fights, and I feel like I showed them good tonight. And I'll use some switch stances, and yeah, it's all good today. Before, people look at you know, Cubs record now, and we'll see the four losses in a row, and you know, you're on that list now, but it's all very high-level guys. Do you exactly. think that speaks more to you now or to him? Because people are going to say, oh, retire, or like these kind of things. No, I think it speaks more to me, and I feel like... It, Watch when he comes back and wins, and then, then it'll make me look even better, honestly. Before uh, the fight, you didn't really want to speak about Cubs name value, what it means. Now that the fight's over, maybe you can speak to that a bit more. What what does a win over Cubs wants it? A veteran, it, a guy, a big name, what does it mean for your career? It's huge. I mean, you, look, you look at my record now, 12-1, uh, and one, that name is going to stick out, obviously, more than the other names. He's a legend in the sport, somebody that I, I grew up watching and I'm a huge fan of. So uh, having that name on my record and with a win next to it, it's awesome. With having that win and a guy around the top ten, yeah. is there any particular uh, fighter you're looking for to get into the top ten? Or no particular fighter. I mean, I beat the top ten, so I feel like I should automatically be in the top ten. But uh, we'll see what I get next. We'll see, we'll see what rank I'm at on Monday. Just a couple for you, Shane. Um, yep. First, you mentioned during the media day on Thursday that it was important that you don't build Cub up to be some god. Yeah. Looking back on it, how important was that? Yeah, 100. percent As soon as you got in the cage, it was uh, you're just another man at the end of the day. Uh, I got a lot of respect for anybody that steps in there with me, but. Uh, he bleeds blood just like I do. He's another man. And, uh, you know, contusions on your face part of the deal. Yep. But I think I noticed you limping around up here a bit. Uh, how's your leg doing? My leg's fine. It's just that I got a little bruise on my on my shin. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough couple days limping. Yep. Yeah. Threw, a lot, threw a lot of kicks. Jay, <laughs> sorry, I know your expectations were high as far as like, how exciting the fight was going to be. Uh, did, did it meet your expectations? Uh, I didn't get fight tonight, unfortunately. But yeah, I didn't get fight tonight. So, no, it didn't meet my expectations. Yeah. I wanted to fight tonight or at least performance tonight or something. Uh, so, no, it didn't meet my expectations. It went great. I'm happy with the win, but first, I mean, I'm pissed that it's a split decision. I feel like it should definitely be unanimous. But, um, yeah, I would have loved to get a bonus. Was there at any point when, you, you know, there's a certain format that scorecards are read in, when you realized it was going to be a split decision, was there any part of you that was worried? Yeah, 100%, because if I lose that, then that's half my money down the drain, right? So I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was worried. I, didn't, I really felt like I, went, I won, so I thought I was about to get robbed, but, um, yeah, I was scared. Uh, I mean, like I said, you felt you won 30-27, but was there any point in the fight where you were so in control you thought maybe you could have put him away, or is it just like stuck so up? Yeah, he's really tough, man. I, I, I tried to pour it on him in that third round. I, try, I tried my hardest to put him away in the third round. Like I felt like I was up the first two rounds, but like I said before, it doesn't matter. I'm always looking for the finish, and uh, that's always my goal is to get the finish. Um, it didn't materialize tonight, but I'm always going to be going, looking for it in the future, too. Uh, you mentioned this immediate day again. I know you're leaving on Sunday, but are you going to sneak in a poutine before you go? 100 percent, man. I have to. I can't come to Canada, watch all my friends eat the poutine, and then not try it myself. <laughs> Can I add, someone mentioned that to me recently. I hear, you know, I know you're a foodie. I hear that you go to the restaurant. Yeah, and watch it's probably your Aaron, right? <laughs> yeah, Can yeah. You elaborate on that process. Yeah, I brought my my trifecta meals, and um, yeah, I was sitting down eating my my. It was good, really good food. But I mean, compared to what they had, yeah, I was sitting down eating mine while they were eating theirs, and I was just like living through them vicariously. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's like a mental thing. Man. I, just, I, I love food, I've got a passion for it. Fighting makes you love food on like a whole different level. So a lot of fighters who want to stay away from the restaurant. Yeah, like, wanna no, there, I want to be wanna right see. in there. Like, I want to see it, I'm like, all right, that's what I'm gonna have after, that's what I'm gonna have, that's what I'm gonna have. I, I got like a list on my phone. <laughs> What's on that list? Uh, a bunch of restaurants, a bunch of restaurants. In, in Ottawa and back at home. <laughs> you don't have a particular fighter in mind, but do you have a particular card in mind that you'd like to get uh, back in there with? I gotta look at the rest, the rest of the, uh, the the calendar. Um, maybe sometime in August, early August or September. Yeah. You just beat number eleven. How? Uh, not to look too far ahead, but number ten. Um, how how far away are you from that title picture? Where are you in it? I feel like I should be in it, right? I'd be the top ten guy. I mean, top ten. It's not that far, right? So I, should, I feel like I should be right there. Yep. Thank you, Shane. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.